Welcome to this video. We're going to be exploiting PostgreSQL and again we are using Metasploitable as our target machine and I'm using Kali Linux as the attacker. So uh, I have the same in-map scan uh, verbose version. Our target is 1.171 and I have used the reason as we've discussed in the past. So as I scroll down looking at the results I see that there is uh, looks like a SQL database PostgreSQL. SQL and that's what I want to try to exploit and try to get in. So to to start things I'm gonna go ahead and start Metasploit and let it be powering up. If I were not familiar with PostgreSQL I would obviously do a Google search or whatever search engine you prefer and I would go in and, and start looking at what the, uh, the PostgreSQL is all about. So it looks like it's an open source object relational database. Um, I can read through all of this, kind of brief myself on what data uh, types and, and things like that the database will use. I know that SELECT in capital letters is, is a good way to start communicating with a lot of different databases. So if I uh, do a, a quick search for that it comes back with a lot of information it looks like a way to communicate with the database so I'm looking kind of at the syntax from this and again you would want to read through this try to understand what type language you could use what what are some of the key syntax uh, that that you would want to use or could use with this and then what are the differences maybe between the PostgreSQL and a regular SQL or MySQL or something like that so so that's where I would begin and then uh, I have uh, Metasploit up now so the first thing I want to do is I want to do a search well before I do that let me this is going to have a, a lot of information coming back so let me make that window a little bit bigger and we'll do a search for PostgreSQL and see what comes back. Okay so it looks like 13 items come back. Uh, it looks like some auxiliary stuff, uh, some exploits uh, looks like some scanner, uh, looks like admin, maybe if we have a password or something like that we might be able to get in. There's a version scan. So there are some things that we can use here. So um, let's, let's start by looking at this first one which is a login utility that might be a good place to start now I don't have a username and a password but let's get some information about this and see if it might help us with that what really what I'm looking for is something like a um, maybe a dictionary type attack so let me get some info on number seven 
and it looks like that's exactly what this is so it attempts to authenticate against the instance using a username and password combination from a user file password file and user password file so um, this is exactly what I'm looking for I'm looking for something that would be like a dictionary attack and that's that's what this is it's against the database template one which is a default database configuration in PostgreSQL it uses port 5432 and that's the port that we saw over here in our scan that it is using so a couple of things that I need to populate I need to put in the R host so first of all let's go ahead and use and this was number seven I believe it was yep so I'm going to go ahead and use number seven I'm going to set the R host to 192, 168, 1, 171. And looks like that's all I really need to set. Don't need to do anything with, uh, with those parameters. Don't need to change the threads. What I will do though is <clears throat> I'm going to change the the verbosity uh, so that I only get feedback if it is successful I really don't care about all the other attempts that may be unsuccessful so I'm gonna set that to false and I'll take one last look to make sure that things are populated we do have the correct IP address verbosity is is set so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so that was fast looks like I have a username and a password and the database is template one so we're off to a good start now what I need to do is I need to communicate with the database and I believe I saw a module over there that that might do just that so let's go back and let's do a search again post SQL and since I'm looking for something that I can log in here's one for admin and that looks pretty good it's just a generic query there's one here but it looks like that's for reading a file or maybe transporting a file um, as well so looks like number nine might be a good one to use so I'll use number nine and uh, I want to take a look at the options for that so it is against this template one database we've got our username and password already populated and uh, it is against the port 5432 I just need to put in the our host and uh, that's 192 168 1 171 and so I'll take one last look and it is set we should be good to go um, let's go ahead and run that and looks good so um, one thing I forgot to mention is this part right here I left that default 
and what this is is this is the way that you're going to communicate with the database and without changing it we can see that this is the SQL query to execute without changing it the command ask for what is the version and that's exactly what we've got down here is the version so we are in we are communicating with the database the last thing that I want to do is I kinda wanna take a quick look at uh, the the database and the structure of the databases that are there because there's probably more than one so to do that I'm gonna use that SQL I'm gonna set the SQL and I'm going to lead with select all in caps and then I'm going to use that PG underscore database and remember from when we when we looked at this online we were seeing the PG database uh, but we also saw dat base as well. I forget now where I saw that, but it was a dot dat base. So probably on another page. But that tells me that I can communicate with dat base. Or actually the name that's what I'm wanting so that base name from PG underscore database and so let me run that and there we have it we've got exactly the postgre template 0 and template one. So I hope that you find this uh, to be of value and until next time happy hunting.